In this video, we're gonna talk about, I don't know if it's really a new discovery, but it's certainly an element of maybe the functionality of why modafinil, partially why modafinil is doing its thing and promoting wakefulness and promoting nootropic effects uh, that no one in the nootropics community really that I've ever come to, to see or witness or observe is, is, is ever talking about. Coming up. <laughs> All right, a minute and a half, if I can fit it in a minute and a half of powerful nootropic products. First, look, we created a stack called Cortex. That's one of the most powerful stacks in the market, according to our, our, our customers. It's being dubbed the only pre-made stack that works. That was part of the pain point in the market when I was like, because I've been an entrepreneur for eight years. I like to look at what the pain points are in a market and then create a product for that market that meets the pain point. So one of the major pain points was, it's two things. I was creating, a, I was using a product at the time that was making my brain function really well for just about 18 hours a day. It didn't last the whole 18 hours, but I mean, I was working 18 hour days and it helped me get through those days and function really optimally during that time I was running a company. Uh, and so I was using a stack and I basically refined that stack, sent it to beta testers and formulated uh, the Cortex stack with it. But secondly, it's, it's, I like to look at pain points, what's, what people think is a problem and then try to solve that problem. The biggest problem with pre-made stacks was that they were subtle. They were not discernible, they weren't strong, there was nothing comparable to the Daphnil or any of the strong racetams. And that's what we tried to do with the Cortex stack. Uh, and you know that resonates with the market. Folks love the product, get it at livecortex.com. We wrote two digital guides. These are guides on nootropics. They're very, very specific, filled with stacks. One of them is the Racetam God Guide, 80 plus Racetam stacks. But it also breaks down all the Racetams, explains Rast. When you read that guide, it's digital. You can get it for any device you want. You will leave understanding Racetams and you'll have 80 plus stacks of Racetams. Very powerful, called the Racetam God Guide. Then we wrote an all-encompassing nootropics instructional protocol guide. That is my sort of like how to use nootropics surgically, distinctions for decades, stacks forever. It took me eight and a half years to figure out the stuff in that guide. If you want to know about nootropics, you want to know advanced pro nootropics stuff, get the Smarter Better Faster Guide. And lastly, we do, we do nootropics consults. You need your stack perfected, I can help you. 40 minutes with me on a phone call and or a video chat, 40, and then 15 additional email correspondences. Okay, get all that stuff at livecortex.com. So check it out. Uh, you know, folks talk about modafinil being wakefulness promoting and uh, you know, like the, the mechanisms of modafinil, some of them are a little elusive. There's a, there's a study called the mechanisms of modafinil which explains how it affects GABA and increasing serotonin in certain regions of the brain. You know, doing a few other things. And uh, you know, what, oh, and then you know, increasing extracellular dopamine uh, by inhibiting dopamine transporters. But one of the things that's, look, modafinil is a profoundly strong wakefulness promoting compound. When you take it, I always compare it to like sleeping exceptionally well. Like with an angel going, ah, breathing over your head at nighttime and just like singing your lullabies, like a, like a, a, a god angel, like just like a beautiful, like whatever, Salma Hayek or something, right? You know, with a comforter that God made and you got eight, you know, you had a thousand hours of sleep and everything in your body rejuvenated to the point you had energy until you're eight years old. That's like what modafinil is like. You, you just, you just, you just feel like yourself, but way optimized, way turned on. That's why it's so alluring. Uh, and so good, but but one of the things that, okay, look, so it is therefore, you know, it's improving wakefulness, awakeness, wakefulness, right? And one of the, like, why I, I'm obsessed with nootropics, I mean, one of the reasons besides neurodegeneration, preventing neurodegeneration, these sorts of things, acute uh, brain performance effects, is that, look, I mean, turning on the brain, improving neurotransmitter profile, improving receptor sites, improving brain energy, you know, improving glucose uptake in the brain, improving fatty acid usage in the brain, these things make one feel more alive, okay? I go on runs in the morning, you know, and it gets glucose functioning in my brain, it gets BDNF firing, I get to clear my lymphatic system of toxins. I feel great, I'm alive, I'm awake, you know? My brain is open, alive, I'm ready. And, 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 and modafinil, does that, but check this out. There, there, you know, I'm always studying new stuff on smart drugs and, and, and modafinil particularly, and racetams. I'm fascinated with the whole thing. And so, you know, I came across a study from 2012, which basically explains a, a, a possible new mechanism for why modafinil promotes such wakefulness effects that no one in the nootropic sphere is talking about. Okay, here it is. Uh, 
The study is called, uh, God, I had it on my laptop over there, but in my freaking screensaver just uh, shut up. But the study uh, is, is called, um, the study's called you know, something to the effect of modafinil, a, a, a wake, you know, a wakeful or a wake promoting drug, uh, you know, pr practical use and risks. That's what the study is. I'll, I'll display like a, a picture of the study, right, you know, on this video, which basically goes on to say this very specifically, that there's a neuropeptide, okay? This is the guts of this, this is the point of this video. There's a neuropeptide called orexin, O-R-E-X-I-N, okay? Which is a family, I'm gonna read directly from the study, which is a family of wakefulness promoting and sleep inhibiting peptides. It's a sleep inhibiting peptide that's already in your brain. Is involved in inducing narcolepsy. Okay, narcolepsy is when you, 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 you can't stay awake, you just, you fall asleep. I mean, you legit fall asleep. The orexin neurons, so there's orexin neurons, okay? Orexin is neuropeptide regulating, regulating wakefulness, regulating sleep, like sort of the sleep switch, are found exclusively in the lateral hypothalamus and the orexin neurons in the hypothalamic area uh, projects to the entire nervous system. Orexin neurons may be activated by modafinil, okay? Those orexin neurons you know, the neuropeptide or erection, it has literally to do with uh, sleep. It's a sleep inhibiting peptide that in people with narcolepsy, that sleep inhibiting peptide that inhibits sleep, it's a peptide in brain that, that stops you from going to sleep, it's destructed, that the neurons and the cells that contain orexin are, uh, have been damaged. Therefore, you know, uh, uh, orexin cannot inhibit sleep because those cells are damaged so people just boop and they fall asleep you know and so and so and so modafinil uh might activate orexin neurons and either repair them or at least get them functioning to where it can it can prevent people from falling asleep and that might be a significant mechanism of why it promotes such wakefulness, you know, promoting effects. The the uh, you know, for those of you who want to go and read the study, it's particularly interesting because uh, it you know it 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 projects modafinil in a very positive light. It talks about using it for cognitive fatigue, for otherwise fatigue, for you know, it basically says like you know, younger folks that don't have you know uh, significant cognitive decline can benefit from taking modafinil. It 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 makes the case that modafinil is relatively safe long term. It compares it to other psychostimulants like amphetamines, and uh, you know, you know, very, very overtly, it tries to make the case that it that it just doesn't have the side effects of of, of, of like you know Adderall and, and other amphetamines, which is true. That's why modafinil is so great because it does not have uh, some of those uh, side effects. Uh, the author of the study, as far as I can tell, I mean, maybe this is the wrong guy, but it could be the right, it could be the guy. There's a guy named Kim Dongsu. The reason this is, funny last name, Dongsu. Uh, the reason this is relevant is, 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 is just this. He's a PhD. Uh, he is a clinical neuropsychologist, okay, with a private practice, clinical neuropsychologist. Right now, he you know has his practice. At, I think it's called the Holy Name Medical Center, but then previous, he was... Uh, yeah, Yale University School of Medicine, Department of Psychiatry, uh, Nathan Klein Institute for, for Psychiatric Research, um, whatever, and, and I guess he was educated in a university in, looks like, Korea, perhaps. I think this is just relevant because this is a neuropsychologist, you know, that's like into this and doing it. At the at the bottom of that study, like it said that the, the, the author, this is on PubMed and it, like I think they divulge this in a lot of studies. It said that the author doesn't have conflicts of interest with discussing it. So I can't really see, at least as far as I'm researching, like why this guy would want to be promoting modafinil or making it look good. I have no idea, but I guess that's just something that was interesting to me. Okay, well, why is this guy talking good about modafinil? You know, there's some sort of connection with pharmaceutical industry. I, I, I don't know, but he is a clinical neuropsychologist and his name is Kim Dongsu. It's a dude, a Korean dude, and he's a PhD neuropsychologist. But anyway, yes, modafinil might improve the functionality of orexin neurons, which are sleep inhibiting peptides, peptides in the brain that might get damaged with people that have narcolepsy so that those peptides, the orexin neurons and the peptides cannot inhibit sleep. 
So they just they just fall asleep, you know what I mean? That's what narcolepsy is. And so modafinil, one of modafinil's mechanisms might be that it's you know working on these erectile neurons and therefore promoting wakefulness. I thought that was very interesting, and I hope you do too. Thanks a lot for watching.